I'm used to eating good American food with big portions and really rich food. So that's what I'm gonna cook today. I'm gonna cook some ribeye steak in uh, sherry and barbecue dry rub sauce. And I'm gonna put it on a bed of mashed potatoes with some chorizo and some fresh vegetables. We'll start with the steak. I chose ribeye steak. It's a little bit fattier than sirloin, fattier than fillet steak, but that gives it a little bit more flavor. And the other thing is that it makes it more tender. Some peppers and some onions, some potatoes, and then we've got some chorizo. And the chorizo uh, is pretty good quality, as you can see, because you've got these nice big windows of fat in between all the meat. A bit of butter, which will be very useful for the sauce and the mashed potatoes some medium dry sherry. We've got some nice double cream, salt, just to add some flavor, pepper, and then some olive oil, uh, which would be great for the onions and the peppers. As we move along back here, we've got uh, the dry rub. It's just a, a seasoning mix that's typical for any kind of Carolina or Southern style pulled pork barbecue, but you can use it on any meat and it tastes really great. I'm gonna start by boiling the potatoes and getting those ready to go. They should be in there for about 15-20 minutes. I'm just about to start seasoning the steak. So first I'm gonna add some salt on each of the steaks. And then rubbing it in. It should dissolve in pretty well. And then I'll add the dry rub afterwards. Just let it sit, let it warm up a little bit so that if I cook it rare, it doesn't end up cold in the middle. Right now I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to a pan, nice medium heat, and saute the onions, soften them up, uh, start to brown them and caramelize them a little bit, and then I'll add the peppers so the peppers don't get soggy and just nasty to eat. Right now I'm just chopping some of the chorizo, getting it in nice thin strips so that yeah, it's nice and crispy, goes on top of the steak really well. Right now I'm frying up some of the chorizo. Put it in the pan before I use the pan for the steak. Uh, some of the flavors will stay in the pan for the steak, which will be really nice. But also, it's out of the way and I don't need to worry about it when I'm trying to do the steak. So the chorizo is now crispy and nice, starting to really crunch up around some of the edges. So I'm gonna make sure it gets out of the pan before it burns on. And now I'm gonna use that same pan again for the steak. And the important thing on the steak is to add a lot of butter, about the size of your thumb. So the butter is nice and hot now. Uh, good almond color, maybe a little bit dark. If I leave it too much longer, it's gonna burn. So I'll make sure I put in the steak now. And that's the nice sound that you want when you put the steak in. That's the sound of it searing on the outside, so it seals in all the juices. As I put the steak in, I'm gonna add the peppers as well. That way, they're still nice and crunchy, they've got freshness, so they're not gonna be overdone and soggy. All right, the steak is seared on one side, and it's not too thick a cut. So to make sure I don't overcook it, I'm going to flip it over to the other side and make sure I wash it that way. Now, a lot of what you see there looks burnt, but really what it is is the seasoning and a lot of the butter that's in the pan coming together and giving it a nice fond, so a nice coating of flavor that's going to taste really good. One of the things to remember about steak is that if you let it rest, which you should let it rest after you cook it, it's going to do a little bit more cooking while it's resting. So, you may think you're underdoing it, but it's good to take it out earlier rather than later. It'll be just about ready in a moment to take out of the pan. When you cook it, you drive the juice out of the steak. So you need to give it a few minutes to have it reabsorb the juices. As you can see, some pooling on the top already. So if I just cover it up, it'll start to reabsorb those as it sits there as we wait to eat it. Our potatoes have finished on the back burner. 
So I'm just going to take them off and drain them and get them ready to mash in a few minutes. Now I'm going to make some really, really, really awesome creamy mashed potatoes. So cut off as much butter as you dare. A little bit of cream. And then begin to mash. Americans are never afraid of salt and pepper, so I'm going to make sure that my mashed potatoes taste great by adding enough salt. A little bit of pepper. Our onions and our peppers are done now. The onions are nice and soft, they're brown, they're starting to get some of the sugars out. And the peppers aren't soft, they're soft a little bit, but they're still going to retain some of their freshness. When everything else is off the heat, it's the final step, and we're going to make a sauce in the same pan that we use for the steak. It's going to pick up all the seasoning that's sticking to the bottom and pick up some of the juices that we had from the steak. So, heat the pan nice and hot and then add some sherry. And then, to round it out, I'm just going to add loads and loads of butter. That's going to start to collect it all and make it into more of a sauce than just a, a liquid. For the sauce, just remember that once you've cooked it down a little bit, you need to add more sherry. So add more sherry, add more butter. The butter is going to keep it thick and pourable, whereas the sherry is going to add flavor and richness. But it's glazing the pan really nicely when I move it around. So I think. The sauce seems pretty much done, and the last step to it, I'm going to add the chorizo that I cooked earlier. There's no need to cook it down any further, so I'm taking it off the heat. I'm going to start by making a bed of mashed potatoes, and then the other things will go on or around it. Find out how tender the steak is, how good my choice was on the cut of meat. Yeah, it's pretty good, it seems. Hi there, my name is Judy. Well, today I thought I'd make it fairly simple and fun. I'm going to prepare a 